Hey guys, what is up? This is Jamie, Farnsworthy Vending, and today we're going to be going on a collection out at my Subaru location down in Claremont. I'm super stoked about this. Last month, we had a really good, really good collection from these guys, so I'm hoping it's the same thing this month. Let's check it out, guys. All right, guys, at Claremont Subaru, and we're going to go in, check everything out, get some info. I think we got to pay someone back, too. So we actually did really good here. Um, the Cheetos Puffs don't seem to sell anywhere, but uh, Fritos, these sell really good. These were completely full if I remember right, so they've sold pretty good. We'll get right into it, start counting everything up. So we're down one of these. I haven't sold any of those. Funny are doing awesome here. Love that. So we got a couple of sales on this. I haven't seen any sales on these in a while, but uh, we got to fill this guy up here. So, move everything in. Alright guys, so a lot of you have been asking, well not a lot of you, a couple of you guys have been asking what to do in a customer service situation. And this is a perfect example of what happens in a customer service situation and I happen to get all of it on camera so it works out great. What was going on is I got a phone call right before I was headed out. They said that uh, the machine had eaten uh, their money. What, what happens is with that specific machine, for some weird reason, when it runs out of product instead of, maybe the drop sensor is too sensitive or something, but when it runs out of product it just eats the money like they still got the product and they didn't. So, I'm trying to fix that right now, <laughs> but uh, the guy happened to show up right there. I gave him his money back and uh, everything was fine. These guys love me there and it helps me out a lot when I am able to actually handle the customer service situation myself. Do you know who the ginger ale person is? Yeah, one for me, one for Jesse. One for you and one for Jesse? Yes. Okay. If you guys want to give me just, you guys have the shop? Yeah, Jesse, I don't know. Yeah. Give me a minute, I'll get you guys. You want to hand it to me? I'll give it to him. Actually, if you got a second, I'll do it right now. Yeah, he's got a second. If this thing ever eats money, uh, I'm trying to do some research. It's not supposed to eat it when it's empty. It's supposed to give it back to you or make you choose something else. Yeah, it doesn't. And it's not doing that. And I've called the manufacturer and they're kind of giving me the runaround. So for the time being, just let me know. I'll get your money back. Pull the rest of 
free to give me a call anytime anything right. breaks me up. So that just worked out. The guy I owed money to actually came out to buy something from the machine so I could just hand it right off to him. And then that makes my life a lot easier. We've got a pretty solid sellout rate on this drawer got a whole bunch of coils that are empty we're gonna start filling these as much as I can for the most part but uh, let's get some information and get it rolling It seems like when it runs out of snacks, people start buying some of the other stuff, which is great. Makes my life a lot better. Okay, so we're, on, we're about halfway through the Coke. Diet Coke needs to move to a single column. We'll replace it with ginger ale. I think that's root beer in the back. Fanta grape and sunkissed. And we're gonna need two cases of water. Oh, uh, uh, I don't know where the footage went. Okay, so I thought the camera was recording like all the way through that. I opened the bill acceptor and it's a coin looks bill acceptor so it kind of tilts on its own sort of thing. And the whole thing fell on the floor and the money just went and I was like flipping out. Oh, I can't believe, like I thought I was recording straight up to the point where I was actually like picking it up and filling filling the bag but I turned it back on thinking that the battery died or something like that I'm I don't even know what the happened oh my gosh oh here's a clip of the money not sure how much of that I caught before the battery died but this is what we're looking at Close up shop and get out. I still can't believe that I lost that footage. I'm kind of irritated about it now. But so we got the money. I went back home. Um, I actually didn't go back home. I went to the bank, and uh, my bank has a free Coin Star for members. So I used the Coin Star instead of counting it all out in front of the camera. And uh, we'll roll into that real quick. But first, I just wanted to say. You guys probably noticed in the background, everything's a little bit different. It's because I'm hanging out with my little brother. Bam, that's better. Uh, the, reason, the reason I'm over here is because me and him, we're going live on Twitch because he just started a new Twitch account. So those of you who are gamers, which I know there's a couple of you, I'm going to have a link to his Twitch in the description below. Uh, he's got a new YouTube channel we're trying to work on together too. So I'll have a link to that one as well. All right, guys, let's check out how much money I made here. All right, guys, let's get this counted up. So this is the bag from Claremont Subaru. It's actually Dan O'Brien Subaru now. Uh, so we're going to open this guy up. So I actually took all the coins and took them to a coin star. And we have this guy right here. Says it was uh, $36.80 worth of coins. And while we were on the run... Josie needed to borrow some money just real quick, so $60 of this is actually in 20s from her paying me back. So we'll pull that out really fast. 
and then we'll start counting. Here's the $60. So that means we need $40 in ones to make 100. Let's do it. Bam, first hundred. Second hundred. Third hundred. So there's three hundred and thirty-eight dollars and eighty cents. There's no commission on this location. That's a lot of money on one location. So it's funny because January is actually the slow time and I still managed to pull a crap ton of money out of this location. Super stoked about that. So we got $338.80. That's awesome. All right, guys. So that was an awesome pull. I'm super stoked about it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, make sure you comment below. I'll try to get to every single one. Make sure you hit that like button subscribe to my channel. Guys, remember to love life, live your dreams, and be Farnsworthy. Peace.